today we are going to discuss about examples on steam formation so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management let's take the question first so evaluate the condition of the steam for the following cases case number 1 steam at 15 bar pressure and specific volume is 0.12 meter cube per kg case number 2 steam at 10 bar pressure and 200 degree celsius temperature third steam at 20 bar pressure and having specific enthalpy 2650 kJ per kg fourth steam at temperature of 150 degree celsius and specific volume is 0.3924 m3 per kg so intentionally i have taken these four different cases in the same problem so you can understand complete concept of the properties of steam as well as the steam formation and so that you are able to solve any problem from the steam formation so concentrate carefully the full video so definitely you can understand each and every cases of the given problem so let's start with the case number 1 and that is given to you steam at 15 bar pressure so at 15 bar pressure we want to find the condition of the steam that means the dryness fraction of the steam and the specific volume is given to you 0.12 meter cube per kg we want to find the value at 15 bar pressure that means at this value so from the steam table if i want to find the value corresponding to 15 bar then up to here this is the 15 bar and i want to find the specific volume at 15 bar pressure then this is the vg means specific volume of the gas that means if the steam is dry saturated steam then the specific volume corresponding to 15 bar is 0.13167 meter cube per kg so i can write over here vg is 0.132 meter cube per kg from the steam table here the specific volume that is given to you as 0.12 meter cube per kg so i can say here the specific volume of the given steam that is less than this vg value and so that we can say the steam is still in wet condition that means it is not dry saturated steam so we know that the condition of the steam for the case number 1 is what wet steam so now i want to find the dryness fraction of the steam so as we know that specific volume of the wet steam that is equal to x into vg so we know that the specific volume of the wet steam that is given to you as 0.12 so i can put it over here 0.12 is equal to x that is the dryness fraction of the steam that is my objective so it is as it is x into vg that means the specific volume of the gas from the steam table you know that vg is equal to 0.132 so i can put it over here so if you simplify this equation then you can find the dryness fraction of the steam x that is 0.91 so this is your second answer so make a box so this is the case number 1 now case number 2 steam at 10 bar pressure so that is given to you in case number 2 p is equal to 10 bar pressure and now take steam table and corresponding to 10 bar pressure so this is given to you as 10 bar so corresponding to 10 bar pressure the second column that represent as the saturation temperature of the steam so this is the very important value saturation temperature corresponding to 10 bar that is 179.9 so i can write over here from steam table case number 2 but in case number 2 the temperature is given to you 200 degree celsius and at 10 bar pressure 
saturation temperature is 179.9 degree celsius so here you can understand the temperature of the given sample of the steam is 200 degree celsius and saturation temperature is 179 degree celsius so this temperature is more than this one so you can understand the steam is superheated steam so this is my first conclusion condition of the steam is what superheated steam now second dryness fraction of the steam so as you know that in the superheated steam there will be no any water molecules and so the dryness fraction of the steam is exactly equal to 1 so directly I can write x is equal to 1 so that is your second answer so make a box now if I want to find the degree of superheat then you know that degree of superheat is the temperature difference between saturation temperature and superheated temperature so superheated temperature is given to you saturation temperature corresponding to 10 bar is 179.9 so the difference between these two value is 20.1 degree celsius so that is called as the degree of superheat for the case number 2 now case number 3 steam at 20 bar pressure and having specific enthalpy 2650 so at 20 bar pressure we are going to find that what is the specific enthalpy from the steam table so the pressure that is given to you as 20 bar and specific enthalpy hg that is 2797.2 that is the specific enthalpy so i can write hg as 2797.2 kilojoule per kg from the steam table or case number 3 but here you can see the specific enthalpy that is given to as 2650 and that is less than this one so you can understand the steam is wet steam so here i conclude that here the specific enthalpy of the given steam as 2650 that is less than 2797.2 and so the steam will be wet so that is my first answer now i want to find the dryness fraction of the steam so as you know that specific enthalpy for the weight steam is equal to hf plus x into hfg so i can find the dryness fraction of the steam from this formula but you don't know hf as well as hfg so i can pick up these both the values from the steam table corresponding to 20 bar so corresponding to 20 bar pressure i can find the value of both hf and hfg so hf is 908.5 so i can write over here 908.5 kilojoule per kg now i am going to find hfg corresponding to 20 bar so once again corresponding to 20 bar and hfg and that is 1888.7 kilojoule per kg so now i can use this equation so hw is 2650 is equal to HF 908.5 plus X is my objective so that is as it is into HFG that is 188.7 so if you simplify then I will get X dryness fraction of this team for the case number 3 so make a box now case number 4 steam at temperature of 150 degree celsius and specific volume is given to you so i can say at t that means temperature 150 degree celsius what is the specific volume from the steam table so you have to use the steam table having first column saturation temperature so corresponding to 150 degree celsius i can find specific volume vg 0.39245 that is in terms of meter cube per kg from the steam table or case number 4 so here observe carefully the given sample of the steam having specific volume 0.3924 and from the steam table corresponding to 150 degree celsius the specific volume of gas is 0.3924 that means there will be no any water molecules 
so here i conclude that the specific volume of the given steam that is exactly equal to vg and hence i can say the steam will be dry saturated steam and as you know that for the dry saturated steam the dryness fraction is always equal to 1 so make a box so we have solved these four different cases to find the condition of the steam and dryness fraction of the steam so thanks my dear friend press the like button to appreciate this video